Okay, so in this presentation, I'm going to give uh, some basic fundamental, I'm going to outline some basic fundamental principles around quantum robust uh, cryptography. So before we dive into the different methods, uh, we need to do some basic fundamentals. And in this presentation, we'll look at the mod p polynomials uh, because they are seen to be one method which could be used to create our quantum robust cryptography. So the risk is that quantum computers will easily be able to crack RSA and elliptic curve public key methods. So we'll have to find alternatives to make to be sure that we can still uh, use public key within inside a quantum computing era. So normally public key is used where Bob wants to identify themselves to Alice. So Bob will sign something with his private key and then Alice will prove it with his public key. So the main methods that we'll look at later on are lattice-based cryptography, code-based cryptography, multivariate polynomial cryptography, and we'll cover some of the basics of that in this presentation, and hash-based signatures. Okay, so let's look at some basic principles. Uh, we'll just grab a pen. Okay, so if we have uh, an equation, a polynomial such as this one, so we have 3 to the x squared there, and 10x plus 3. Okay, so we operate on these in roughly the same way, but we bring in a mod p. Okay, we'll come back on to that in a minute. So these are the coefficients of our, our values. And if we get, if we take, say, an example of 17 for our value of p, if we get a value of 17 or any of the multiples of 17, 34, and so on, then this becomes 0 because doesn't matter the value of x uh, because we multiply by 17 because if the mod operation gives us the remainder of a division uh, well, of a certain value this will always end up as zero so anything that becomes 17 we can actually or a multiple of that we can get rid of it along with this we can only have values from uh, 0 to p minus 1 so if we end up with a value of 21, that is equivalent in this case to just 4x squared. Okay, so uh, the, the mod operation allows us to uh, create, uh, transform these values. Okay, so this becomes coefficient c0, this becomes coefficient c1, and this should be to the power of 3. We don't have a coefficient 2 in this case. Coefficient 0, coefficient 1. There. And then this becomes coefficient 3. And coefficient 4. Okay, so normally when we would list this, we would list them in coefficient 0, comma, and then define as a list, coefficient 1, coefficient 2, coefficient 3, and coefficient 4. So in this case we have 3, comma, 10, comma, 0, comma, 3, comma, 2. Okay, so that is our list of coefficients which defines this uh, polynomial. So if we just try that out, and what that looks like, okay, so there's our value there. So 3, 10, 0, 3, 2. When we render that, that looks like this, 2x to the 4 plus 3x cubed plus 10x plus 3. Okay, so that's the way that we that we represent our values 
any value which is greater than 16 will obviously be uh, transformed with the mod operation. So let's look at the basics of our operation. So we'll do an add. So hopefully you remember from school how to do an add for your polynomials. Okay, so that's that. That's the 3 plus 10x plus 3. And then we're going to add uh, the b value there. So it's 3x to the 5 plus 14x to the 3 plus 10x plus 4. Okay, so we're going to add them together. So we pick up the common values and add them together. So that's going to end up with just 3 to the power of x to the power of 5 plus we'll pick up the x to the power of 4. We've only got one of those. So that's that one. So that's x to the power of 4. And now x to the power of 3, we've got that one. So that's 3 and a 14. So that's 17. So remember this one. So we're taking mod 17. Plus x to the 2, there's none. x. So that's now x to the 2 plus 20x plus 7. Then. Okay, so if we remember, this becomes 0 because of our mod operation. So we're mod 17. So that goes, that obviously goes. This will now become 3x because we're taking mod 17. And this is the result that we that we get. Okay, so 3x to the power of 5, 2x to the power of 4, plus 3x plus 7. Okay, so we'll just check that that's right. Okay, so we get for the add operation, 3 to the 3x to the power of 5, plus 2x to the power of 4, plus 3x plus 7. Okay, so this shows us that we have the right answer when we add a and b and then we take mod p, which is 17 in this case. For subtraction, it uh, should be fairly obvious uh, what, what we get. So it's 2x to the 4 plus 3x to the 3 plus 10x plus 3 and then I'm going to subtract 3x to the 5 plus 14x to the 3 plus 10x plus 4 and then that's going to be mod 17. So now we're going to end up with minus 5. Just check uh, here. So that's minus 5 to the power of 5. Oh, sorry. Oops. should have been minus 3. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so if we take th that away from that, we're going to end up with minus 3x to the 5. Okay, so the next one is to to the power of 4, so there's nothing to take away, so that becomes 2x to the power of 4. And then for x to the 3, x to the 3, 
there's 3 minus 14, which is minus 11. 11x 11 to the 3. And then there's no x to the 2. And then for x, it will be 0. And then 3 minus 4 is 1. OK, so that's what we get. So we're taking this mod 17. So to make the values positive, we can add on uh, 17 of, to them, and it still stays the same. So then that becomes 14 to x to the 5. Yeah. That becomes just 2 to the power of 4. Okay, so let's add on 17 uh, to that. So we'll get 6x cubed. And we'll get rid of the minus sign by adding on 17. And that becomes 16. Okay, mod 17. Okay, so we now end up, this is our result. So our result is 16. 0 for x, 0 for x squared, 6, 2, and 14 is our list for this subtraction. OK, so let's try that out. OK, so for the subtraction there, 16, 0, 0, 6 to 14, and it's 14 to the power of 5, plus 2 to the power of 4, plus uh, 6 to the power of 3, plus 16. OK, so that's that's what. And there's the list that we get. OK, so that shows a subtraction for our mod P polynomial. Now for a multiplication. We just basically do the same thing, and this time we, we multiply. Okay. Okay, so 2 to the power of 4 times that will give us 6. Mm. Uh, x to the power of 9 and then we multiply here so that's plus 28 to the power of 7 ok so I, w I won't continue on but what we've got to do is we've got to multiply that one and then that one and then that one that one that one that one then we go there there and there and then finally we do those then, and hopefully you should end up with that. So just to give you an uh, example here. So obviously what we do is, we, because we're using mod 17, we'll reduce it down uh, from uh, to, to a mod 17 uh, value. Okay, so I'll just show you the, the result that we get from that. So this is the multiplication here. And we see here that we get uh, that the two of the highest values, 4 and 5 there, will give us the highest value of uh, x. In this case, it gives us 6. OK, so that shows you some of the basic operations uh, from there. Uh, the division is a, is a little bit more uh, difficult, but I'll explain that in another lecture. Okay, so that's outlined how we use mod p polynomials.